Uh, 49 degrees, a little bit chillier here today. First pitch, hit out towards right. The ball's gonna carry towards right a little bit today, but the play is made out there. Stem, who struck out three times yesterday, swings and misses upstairs. Slider, hit out to left. This is pretty deep. It's gonna be off the monster. Temis Ferry looking for second throw in, not in time. So that was the slider there on one and two. It's super hard to, to adjust. Another one gets by Espinal and Temis Ferry is gonna move up 90 feet. Swung on and missed. That was way upstairs. Bolger bangs one into left. He's seeing it so well. Such a catalyst and spark plug for Tim Corbin's team at the top of the order. And he does, swung on and missed. Bolger goes. Throw by Ratfield, not in time. Bounces off of Bolger. Bolger at second with two away. Slider grounded to third. Play is made over there at third by Griggs, who throws low, and boy. Big 3-2 pitch. Popped up, right side in fair territory. Stem will make the play, and a nice pitch there by Feld. Barney and Oregon State wound up winning back-to-back -back national titles. That swung on and missed. 3-2. Low ball four. Let you as a hitter. Amber goes. The pace. It's in ball four. Slider grounded past the diving Diaz. Everyone will go station to station here. Swing and a miss. Way late on it. Deuces are wild here. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Called strike three. Cunningham's fired up, coming off the mound. Hankins can't believe the call. Called strike three. Change up the dots, the outside corner. Could get a pitch here. Hits one off the end of the bat. Boy, he got a pitch there and he was way early on it. 3-0. Way upstairs, the center. So a lot of guys making it difficult. Bounce towards third, it's a fair ball. Diaz has to make the play and does not. Now playing in Spokane. Gets off the glove of Espinal. Both runners gonna try and advance and they will. It's the second straight inning they've had the bases loaded. Ripping one to left, and it's a fair ball. Off the bat of Ratfield, one run will score. Here comes the second, and for the second straight day, the Bulldogs strike first. Cunningham trying to come out with a big strikeout here, and it's put in play. First time we've seen Holcomb have to make a play. He does, but a productive at bat there by Hamburg. Right about 85, 90 pitches or so as Coop swings and misses at the slider. Espinal applies the tag. Second part of this inning. One, two, called strike three. So Cunningham gets his seventh strikeout. Not a ton of velo, just a lot of off speed, and you see Vastine. Those 89 and third innings and 14 starts. As Austin pops one up. Feld likely to get the shutdown inning. Miller makes the play. Joseph Smith wasn't giving it to him. Gave it to him there, 94. Uh, you just gotta <laughs> fight it off. You just put a barrel on it somehow. Off the hands and off of Vastine's glove. That had some English on it. We'll, we'll wait to see how it's ruled. Going out there. Called strike three, slider on the outside part of the plate. He's two for two and swinging at the first pitch out to center. Austin will make the play. So McIlvain pitches around that error by Vastine. He scored four runs, wind up taking the lead and here's a bunt. It's a good one, tough play by Griggs. He's gonna have no play. How about that? The freshman Camden Kozel with a bunt single. Let's see what Kozel does over at first. He might've gotten picked and he did. Boy, that's a big mistake by the freshman. Looked like he was running on the pitch. Nice pickoff move there. Does not, boy, that's a big pickoff though. we still got a lot to work with here in the bottom of the fourth. Gets away from Ratfield, throw down to second is not in time. And then gets away from Hankins. One, two. Rip to right, it is a fair ball. Espinal's gonna come in to score. Leneve's got some speed, but he's content with a two out RBI double. Boy, he got the change up there, and you talked about a couple pitches before, Feld left it up. 
Another 3-2. Off the end of the bat, good change up there. Right on right change by Feld. You don't really want to beat yourself. McElvain just coming right at him. Bounced up the middle. Vastine can't get to it. So that's Ratfield's second hit of the day. Trying to find, you know, their mesh as a team just joining together. First time they've been playing together. Tough play, Diaz, and he just makes it look so easy. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Man at second. Swing and a miss. 95 upstairs, blew it by him. McIlvain's fourth punch out out of the pen. And Smith does not ring up Holcomb there. He's been seeing it well. Slider, good block by Ratfield. And how about that? A great secondary jump by Holcomb. I'm marking him, by the way. That's two ball and dirt reads for the Vandy boys here today. As Bolger swings and misses, Ratfield applies the tag. Does go to the slider. It's doinked off of Hofberg. Hofberg's not going to have a play. Austin bluffs, it's bounced over to first. Feeling gonna make the easy play to end the inning. All right, McIlvain out here for the top of the six. Peyton Miller to lead off, and that hit him on the foot. Fastball upstairs. Well, you had first base open. You know, grip your changeup. Off the glove of Espinal, and nobody's going, and Espinal throws it away. Boy, now Diaz gets it off the ricochet, and whoa, that was a funky-looking play. The playing field. 3-2 to Stem, called strike three. Gets a fastball, it's a low and in, and McIlvain issues the walk. Pitched for the Commodores yet. 3-2. Swing and a miss. The emotion from the freshman gets out of the bases loaded jam. A lot of travel here earlier in the season. Espinal diving stop Miller. Miller over to first. Feeling couldn't pick it though. Gets into right field, but Espinal is saying that was enough running for me. Also doubled down the right field line. Davis pops one up to center. Nobody can see it and it lands safely. Now Espinal saw it, he's going to third, Davis is into second, it's a blue double. Wow, Coop couldn't see it in center field. See if Hofberg goes right back to that back foot slider. 0-2, oh, does go to the slider, swung on and missed. Big time pitch of the series. Diaz pops one up, gonna be a tough play. Out to right, stem diving, and it's hard to see. He made the play. Both runners did not tag. Oh, what a play by Sam Stem and right. Yeah, it looked like Espinal had, you know, he thought it was gonna land or able to recognize that other hand. Slider again. Holcomb ran around, he can't believe it. Joseph Smith rings him up and Hofberg does pull the Houdini. Second and third, nobody out. Does not. So that's the first base runner allowed in Cyber's young career so far. Popped up, shallow left, Bulger will make the play. Still it is not a great pitch to, to take a good, good swing at first pitch. Speaking of good swings, 3-1 fastball right down the heart of the plate. Vastine. And is going to go here. Another ball and dirt read. 1-2 called strike, or no, excuse me, the board. Yeah, no, it is strike three. Bolger wasn't moving. Does have a home run this season. A second would tie the game. Shoots one, five, six hole, it gets through. They're going to wave Vastine to the plate. Throw by Temis Ferry is cut off. R.J. Austin, an RBI single. Vandy boys are within one. Talked about it. And Austin goes. Throw by Ratfield down to second is a strike. And Ratfield guns down Austin for the second straight day. And R.J. Austin. Cyber can go out there and have another solid inning like he did last inning. 3-2 change up there to the nine hole hitter in Griggs and loses him. Could be a bunting spot, but letting Hankins swing away, and boy, it's gonna be a 6-4-3 double play. And the player development in the locker rooms, and a lot, of, a lot of stuff coming here for the Commodores. I'll tell you what, 
Cyber doesn't have to renovate that changeup much. That's a wicked pitch. You're just trying to, to switch up the speeds on him. Slider not even close. Blocked by Ratfield. Throw to first in time. So a 3-1 slider. Uh, Hewitt, perfect 11 for 11 last year. Perfect four for four this year. Long pause, Hewitt goes in the turf and Hewitt's gonna steal it. 3-0. Diaz sees it up, it misses up. 3-2. Called strike three, Holcomb throws the bat, thought it was ball four and Hofberg gets out of the jam yet again. 0-2, oh, banged into left, but Bolger is there. 3-1, smashed up the middle. Tying run is aboard here. In the bottom of the ninth, Vastine, his second hit in the last two at-bats. Slider gets by Ratfield. A big-time wild pitch. Vastine moves up into scoring position with nobody out. Represents the tying run. Bolger represents the winning run. 2-1, banged into center for a base hit. Here comes the wave for Vastine. The throw is cut off by Phelan. Bolger ties this game in the bottom of the ninth. Gets to second base and then the slider kind of going off the end of the plate. Bolger goes down, gets it, smacks it to right field. Able to tie this, this ball game up jacked up over there on first base. Now you got Jacob Humphrey, Jr. over there at first. A perfect five for five in stolen base attempts. Always has the green light. But Humphrey, one of the better stolen base threats in the Gets team. by Phelan. Doesn't Humphrey's matter. got wheels. He's gonna get to at least second here. He makes the turn. He's going to third. Throw to third, not in time. You said you don't care how many times they throw over. Well, in the second pickoff attempt, it got by Phelan. And Humphrey is feeling it over there at third. Gonzaga to make a play at the plate. 2-2. Two -two. Well, they won't have to make a play here. Austin waves at a slider. Nowhere's near the plate. Hofberg with a big time seventh K. Kozel into center. This game is over. Kozel delivers the walk-off knock, and the Vandy boys rally in the ninth to win it. It's just unbelievable the, the, the way that this team just finds ways to win. I mean, it's just a mark of a good team. Mm-hmm.